Okay, it's a uh, quarter to 11. I think we can slowly start, get the start indication there. Um, welcome everyone to our workshop, the second workshop today. And this workshop, this workshop is on um, peer and peer code collaboration with uh, Radical. Um, we will be doing a initial introduction on what is Radical and uh, the Radical stack and protocol. And then we will be doing some hands-on where you can like get your machines out or just follow along on the slides. Um, we will be doing also the entire like um, terminal flow here in the split screen so you can tag along. So yeah, this um, workshop is being presented by Eric and myself, Sebastian. We are uh, core team members from the Radical team. And we will start with uh, a first, oh, is that one? A first slide, which is like the main question for the people that didn't hear, hear about Radical. What is Radical? So Radical, in a, in a sentence, is the, it's a sovereign P2P network for code coloration and publishing built on Git. Now, what means uh, like peer-to-peer -peer for us? Peer-to-peer -peer is um, that every user on this network is um, sovereign and has the full control over their experience when using the protocol, um, the protocol and the entire stack. Now, the, um, the second nature of peer-to-peer -peer, as a consequence is to be local first, which um, is, for example, that users don't need each other to participate in, in this protocol, to interact with each other. And also local first means that um, as long as one user is still using the protocol and is running their node, there's a system where other use, new users can then um, join. Now, talking about the stack, the radical stack. Um, in I will start. Can you see it down there? Um, the stack. I, I start with the file systems, which are the base of the of radical, which, as I said before, is built on top of Git. So the um, we have the radical storage, with which is in essence a bare Git repo, where we store every um, peer and every um, reference. On for each repo. Then on top of that, still file systems, we have working copies, which are Git repos also. Um, if anyone wants to like ask a quick Git questions, we can maybe later uh, during the hands-on um, respond to them. The um, repositories are working copies that are cloned or that are um, derived from the storage which are used to work on and do your code changes or your, your work. Also special for Radical is that we store all the issues and all the patches uh, inside of these Git repos. So you don't rely on, for example, GitHub storing them on their server, but you have full control over every, every um, object that uh, is shown by your repo. So now, moving away a little bit from the file systems, um, we have a node. It's, uh, it's not a blockchain, it's not a crypto token. Um, it's a node that runs interacting with the storage and um, has like two interfaces. One is the gossip protocol, which we can then go into in the next slide a little more, and a git daemon, which uh, we need because we built on git. I want to interact through Git. And then like the top uh, layer is uh, the different um, process we can run, which is the CLI to interact with the storage and the node. The A2E uh, by Eric, which uh, is uh, kind of the same thing, but more graphical, text-based. And a web client, so you get an experience by being able to navigate through a, a web interface to see your node, issues, patches, code, everything you want to like see. 
And one more thing that isn't there is the HTTPD uh, API we have, which uh, interacts, which is kind of in between. Yeah, in between the web client and the the node, or even it's the storage, like between the storage and the web client, we we have an HTTP API, which also can be used by third integrations. We have already some IDE extensions, and uh, it's open; everyone can uh, add to it. We also have an open API specification, which can be used. So. With regards to the protocol, um, I don't want to go into the details again on storage and working copies, but um, you can like um, imagine yourself each rectangular here is uh, a machine or a public node, um, which we, where you see they interact via the Git protocol, which is the replication layer. So if I myself like push a new change or do a change to a repo, um, and the Gossip protocol uh, announces there that these changes the, um, the, uh, through the Git protocol. We can then um, fetch and and pull these these changes. Um, yeah. Okay. Now I'll uh, take over Eric for a for the getting started on the hands-on part of the workshop. Um, yeah, hey, so thanks for the introduction. Um, so yeah, we try to make the onboarding experience like as easy as possible, but there are like, still a few things that we need to do, um, like in terms of like getting started um, to use Radical. Um, so yeah, we will just quickly check on whoever wants to participate and like actually try, try it out. Um, I see a lot, oh, sorry, I see a lot of laptops already. So there are a few requirements we need to check. Then we're going through the installation process, create an identity for your node, um, then actually run your own node. Um, and um, I hope we get this far. Um, so we have like a very a small fun project that we set up. Ah, a small, um, like a fun project that we set up. Um, so yeah, let's see. Maybe we can create our first radical patches today. That would be quite nice. Um, so maybe on your computer, um, you might want to check uh, your Git version and your SSH version because um, we are requiring um, Git version 2.34. Um, that's where SSH signing support came in with. Um, and um, yeah, probably open SSH 9.1. Um, so, and we put like, I don't know, can any, everybody see the commands there? Maybe I can also zoom in a little bit. Okay, now that doesn't work. So, can anybody see this? Okay, good. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, I think I'm just going to run through the, the process and then uh, we're going to just like walk around and try and see if anybody needs some help there. Uh, with getting started. So um, what you can already do is you can join our Zulip um, server. Uh, that's radical.zulipchat.com. And there is, I don't know who's familiar with Zulip there. So there's a support stream and we created a protocol Berg topic where we already posted a link to, um, to the project. Um, da, da, da. Okay, so that's like very hard to do hands-free. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, but can also help with this later. So, um, and I don't know, like, um, so this is like we provided a installation script. Um, so and this would be the first command that you would need to run um, on your machine uh, to install Radical. Let's see if this works. Okay, nice. It 
So I will also do this here on um, my screen. So I'm like in the, in the fresh um, like Docker container. I just want to have, uh, don't want to have any of these dependencies that I talked about. So we need to install S, um, OpenSSH. Um, we need to install Git here. Um, we need to install CURL and tar that's needed for the installation script. Um, so that should now install everything that I need here. Okay, so, yep, sorry. Um, so Sebastian is our, uh, already starting to walk around and see if anyone uh, needs some help. Okay, so now, um, like I have everything installed here and I can just copy over the command. So, and now what this does is downloading our release binaries. Mm. Okay, still the Wi-Fi. So, are there any questions so far that might be interesting for the audience already? So the question was, um, maybe like, uh, okay, so maybe we can do this, um, maybe we can postpone this question. Maybe do you want to ask it um, uh, in the end? Because we have also like a Q&A session. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, yeah, that was quite unfortunate. So like the, the issue here was that I didn't set my um, shell variable here um, correctly before installing it. Um, so here it's Ash. So now if I can run this again. Okay, I will download again, but now I'd like to load faster. Probably it's somehow cached. So, okay, now it says, okay, nice. Radical was successfully installed. Um, and I need to, um, like, <coughs> add my, like, reload uh, my environment here. And now I can already do um, a rat help. So, and we can see like a list of commands um, that are available through Radical. Um, so, the next thing that we need to do, okay, so any questions so far? I don't know, is this too fast, too slow? Um, okay, I hear, hear a lot of people typing. All right. So um, the next thing, uh, what I mentioned earlier, is we need to create an identity. So this is like the identity, like our key, that is uh, tied to um, the, the node, and this um, identifies us in, in the network. So I would just rat, um, run rat out. So now I can pick an alias. So that's like, um, you will see what I mean with alias afterwards. Um, and I need to pick a passphrase do this again, and now I'm maybe make this bigger because it contains a lot of useful information. So um, first it says, okay, it created um, our key pair. And then this is like the very important part. So this is the radical DID. That's a decentralized identifier that we need, uh, that we use in the network to identify our nodes. Um, it already says, yeah, it identifies your device. So um, you can run rat self. I will do this in a second um, to check your like own environment, to check your, see your key, see like where your storage is, like on the file system. Um, and now, if we would want to um, like create a new project, we could just rat, uh, run rat in it. Um, but we have another. Uh, we have a project already um, that we set up for the for the workshop. 
And I will just clone this now. Um, so maybe I will show you this. Why is this not working? That's funny. Anyhow, so um, as Sebastian mentioned, there is a um, there is a web interface. So it's like on app.radical.xyz. Um, and let me quickly check. I have the. Okay, yeah, here that's a project URL. This is um, how you can reach um, the project that we created for the workshop. So. The thing is, um, we have, I mean, like, it's a peer-to-peer -peer network, and um, it's based, like, it <coughs> contains nodes, and nodes are, like, like you can run your own, you would run your own node on your own local computer, but we also provide, like, what we call seed nodes. So seed nodes is kind of the idea of having, um, like, a federal system, maybe, um, where people like organizations and also, per, like, people can just decide to run their node, make it public, um, and then have people like, and then kind of host projects there. And we're having a community seed, and you can reach this seed uh, with this URL. Um, so, and what you see here is like, um, yeah, so that's the kind of thing that you would want, uh, would expect when looking at like a code collaboration. Um, software, so like the web interface, we have the code, we have code browsing here, uh, we have issues, patches, um, and there's a clone button. So, and I can just copy this command, let's write clone, and then the identifier of the project, and I can just do this. Ah, okay, nice. It says, okay, I forgot to start my note. That's the very important part. Um, let's quickly go back to the slides. So, um, all right, okay. Um, so we would need to start the node, um, and you can just use like rat node start, um, dash dash foreground, or you can run it in the background. Um, but I decided, like we decided for the workshop to run it in the foreground because you get like a nice, um, you get like some logs that you can, that you can see. So it's rat node start dash dash foreground. So, and I'm starting my note. Mm. <clears throat> so, I can just clone this again. Ah, okay, sorry, now this was the wrong, I'll just do it like that. The wrong terminal. Anyhow, so I'm starting my note. And then I will just clone the project. Um, it's ah, sorry, uh, it's protocol Burke. Okay, sorry. Um, maybe I lost you here. Just let quick. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I think it was the other way around. So let's just go back. So if you type in like the URL you would see like a list of projects that are hosted on the seed node. And the protocol Berg project um, is kind of pinned, so that's like the project that we have um, easily accessible here. Did um, everybody find this project? No? Okay. Now I can just show the URL again. It's app.radicalxyz slash notes slash c.radical.garden. This one? Yeah, yeah, so that's the that's a project identifier. 
um, this identifies a project in the network and also like inside your storage. So we have Git references, like we have namespaces inside of the storage where we, um, where we store the actual Git references and objects. Um, and these are like identified like the project lives in its own namespace, basically. Uh, immutable or mutable? Yeah, no, it's mutable by the, ah, oh, no, the, ah, oh, you mean like, ah, oh, no, this is kind of um, like on project creation. Like when you create a new radical project, this is kind of set. Um, okay. Um, so was everyone able to run their node? Are you running your, like who's, yeah? Maybe just like a quick, uh, Sorry, say it. say it again. Ah, yeah, sure. Uh, you mean the URL? Ah, yeah, sorry, okay, sure. Ah, yeah, okay, so like your node um, doesn't know about um, the seed node. Um, so, um, so radical people just quickly help me out here. So, um, so we just like clone the, hmm? connect to the seed, like, okay. Mm -hmm. You mean like with the like the node needs to connect to the seat, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the disk. Sorry, say it again. And this approach it. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so um Okay, so um, <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, I see. Right, ah, okay, it's the the option change. So this is the command. Are you is everyone in Zulip already? So because there we have um, our radical helpers in the back who just posted um, the command that's needed to connect your node to the seed node, so that your node is able um, to pull the changes from uh, pull their project. Connection reset. Oh, ah, yeah, so. Okay, so I started, I had to restart my node, of course. Um, and now, um, like, I can connect to, to the seat. So, okay, nice. So my node is now connected to the seat. That Everyone um, got this um, this command. Mm. Um, no, I mean um, that's also something. Do we have like, um, do we keep a list of like, do we have the seed node somehow available to the CLI? 
the, so the, quest, the, the question was if the seat, if the, if, because this person didn't need to connect to the seat. Okay, yeah, so there, there is a default listing. Um, yeah, but maybe we need to look at this, uh, why it's not uh, like sometimes like working and sometimes not. Um, yeah, so, but my, my, um, my node is now connected to the seat and I can just um, now clone this project, hopefully. So, nice, okay, so it says a lot of things here, so it connected like um, we're now, like the node is connected to the seed um, and we fetched the um, project with this identifier. Um, it created a protocol Borg uh, folder, so this is like where your working copy lives. Um, and um, so it already says some things that are like important about the nature of like the peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Um, because it already has um, some peers here um, that are um, kind of like added to your tracking. So the thing is, like in a peer-to-peer -peer world, um, you want to uh, like track other people like pushing changes, um, like maintainers probably. Um, and like in Radical, it's called like, we have this concept of delegates. I don't want to go into detail here because we're kind of running already not out of time, but like time is running fast. Um, so, but the thing is, we are kind of like, um, <clears throat> like for this project, um, Sebastian and me, like our two devices um, are like delegates, so maintainers to this project. Uh, and when you pull, uh, when you clone this project, you already have like the tracking relationship. So, which means that er like, um, when we are um, kind of pushing changes through the network, like and on the seat, um, then this means that you're interested in these changes. And when your node synchronizes, um, it will also check um, for new um, Git references, like by these peers. Um, so, how is it? Um, who, do we need like some support? Um, so, is anyone needing some support? It's just like, are your nodes running? Like, how many nodes do we have running here? Like, one, two, three. Okay, five, six, seven. Okay, nice. Um, I mean, ideally, we would get it like running, like get the node running for all the people here in the audience. Okay, so, but what are like, where is she? Okay, I will just, maybe I will just like take a few minutes and then also walk around and see if we can, we can help. Uh, Fintan, who's, Fintan, who's also working on Radical, uh, he's uh, so nice and will help out. Okay, so there's another question.
Uh, okay, so um, we had some issues with people who are not like saw the, um, um, the error message that the connection was reset um, when they tried to connect their nodes to the seed. Um, so, but it may help to just restart your node. Um, so you can just run uh, rat node stop. All right, um, so I think uh, we just decided that there will be like a little change in plans because uh, time just passed by quite quickly. Um, so I think we just, so the, the goal was we try, uh, like we, we try to achieve that like people in the audience can create their own patches, but maybe like this 40 minutes was just a little bit too tight. Um, so I think we will just take the time to do like a Q and A uh, instead of like creating our own um, patches, but like I will just walk or, like walk you through um, what's possible um, with the project now here that I have it cloned. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I can do this. Um, so there was a suggestion suggestion um, that uh, we just like do this here, like create a patch um, here. Um, like um, on this computer, so that at least you see how the workflow would be. Um, so now um, I have this. I have this project. Um, yeah. So is this big enough? Um, so. Um, Okay, so this project has no issues. Um, there's also a command called rat patch. So this shows um, open patches. Um, I can just also do a rat patch dash dash all. So this shows me all the patches um, that, are, um, that are there. So, and they have different state. So there's like this one um, patch here, which is open. And we have a lot of merged patches. Um, so, um, and the workflow for like creating a patch would be like, and now I'm on, on master, so I would probably just check out a new feature branch, um, and I call it, um, workshop, um, and I would just create a file, um, thanks.md. So um, and now, okay, I have this, uh, I'm on the feature branch and I have this un unchained, um, untracked file. Can just, I would just edit. Um, so, um, and I'm putting a commit message. Um, no, that was wrong. <coughs> So, and I can now see like one commit here, like on the workshop branch, um, there's a commit called thank you. Um, so, and I would, uh, what I would now do is like a git, um, show you. So that's like something that's li like a little bit um, needs a little bit more typing right now, um, but I think we might want to change this in the future. So, um, as Sebastian said, so we have the working copies and we have um, everything like is in, in the storage. And like from uh, from your working copy perspective, your radical storage is um, is just a remote. So what we're doing now, um, I'm pushing um, to the reference called patches, 
inside the red uh, remote, so which is the storage. So and this now gives me um, gives me a editor uh, where I can just put a patch message. So, and now <coughs> it says, okay, um, so a patch was opened. Um, so we have like some Git helpers that we, like Git hooks, um, and every time that we push something here to the repository, then um, like uh, to the storage, then a patch is opened. Um, and I can now do a rat patch, and then I see um, my, my patch here. And I can also like go into details of this patch. Oh, okay, that's funny. So it contains um, another commit here. Uh, that was like something that I men mentioned, mentioned earlier. So we have this delegates uh, system that needs some more work. Um, and I just like don't have the latest changes from um, the canonical, canonical branch. Um, so because um, like if you're like having a lot of nodes connecting and a lot of people working on one project, you want to decide on a maintainer probably, which is like the delegates, uh, and only delegates have uh, right access to the canonical path, uh, to the canonical branch, um, and I just had the latest, didn't have the latest changes here, uh, which is why this commit still shows up, um, because um, the, while I'm creating the patch, um, there is a compar comparison um, between the master and um, and my, my feature branch in terms of commits. Uh, okay, sorry, no, we don't only have two minutes left. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, whew, uh, yeah, okay, so next time we will probably do a um, longer workshop. But um, the thing is, um, yeah, I'm quite happy that you um, were here and like uh, we will also be around like the whole day. Um, so you can just approach us. Um, and maybe we can figure out um, if you had any issues. Um, so, yeah, please, uh, please just join Zulip because we are like all there, and um, there's like, um, if, yeah, a lot of help, a lot of support there. Um, so maybe we have like still time for one last question, like one minute left. Um, yeah? Mm, yeah, so the question was if there is any GitHub integration already. So the thing is we also just recently moved our own development process from GitHub like a few months ago. Um, and what we did, so we're kind of like dog fooding ourselves the whole time and like fixing issues while we're doing this. Um, and what we have is like some small scripts that you can use. You can just call the API from GitHub um, and then it creates like your issues um, like in Radical. So that's like something, um, yeah. <clears throat> um, does this answer the question? Yeah, we're... Mm. Yeah, okay, so. Why is it that we might do a rad patch on my code of something like that? Is there something to do with that? Would I do all of the shows except for the one? Would you be up for just sitting outside like a few minutes? Because we just like, it's like now sharp. And I think we need to stop here so we won't delay um, the, the next workshop. Um, yeah, thanks again. Um, so please just approach us. Um, yeah, just approach us like outside or um, hop into the Zulip server. Um, there are a lot of nice people there wanting, willing to help. Thank you. <laughs>